Pastor Goodman. This is a pre-conference Bible study for the For You Conference. It's coming very soon. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. I hope you're coming to the conference that is called For You because the conference is for you, just like the gospel that's for you. I'm going to look at the Bible study that's also for you. It's interested uh, here that we get to uh, ask why Jesus endures all that he does while being asked to read John chapter 20, verses 30 and 31, which start by saying there's a lot more that Jesus did that he's not going to tell you about. And I think that there's probably something inside of all of us that recoils at least a little bit about the idea that there is stuff that God does that we don't know about. It's it's one thing to say it would be cool to know about teenage Jesus, just wondering what that would be like. I just, I, I want to know. It's even another thing to say, like there's probably some really cool campfire stories that I'll get to hear about in heaven one day. But I think if we're being honest about why we want to know about all the rest of it is that it would somehow help us understand him better. Because there are places where we struggle and don't understand what God's doing. And because of that, and because we're sinners, there's places we really struggle to trust him. And we figure if he would just tell us what is going on, it might be easier. Why wasn't there a miracle here when I need it? That's not in the book. Why some and not others? There are places... You're just going to have to guess because he's doing stuff that he does not tell you about. There are many other signs and miracles that are not written in this book. But these things are written that you may believe. And it's actually not reassuring to focus on that. It's just this little whisper that fans doubt and anger and frustration and bitterness. And words like those don't jive with praise that would befit the Savior. So we are given a reminder. These things were written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and by believing, have life in his name. So you look to the actions that are in the book to figure out the intentions when you don't know what he's doing. Look to more than just what you wish you knew about, but what God would have you see. Because the Bible is more than just a history of the healings of Jesus in the Middle East 2,000 years before you were born. It is the history of mercy made flesh, and mercy is unchanging, which means the same mercy that healed some is the mercy that works even where you don't see it, even where you wonder why, even where you struggle with bitterness and anger about not seeing it mercy is for you and is against the anger and the bitterness that you would understand that even the disciples who saw all those things that are not written in this book still didn't understand most of it but it never stopped jesus from dying for them and for you it is against the anger that you would recognize that even the crowds who yelled out crucify are met with the god who actually bore the cross for them willingly and against the idea that you have to somehow understand better you get to look not to the secrets of the universe, but to the cross where love would not manifest itself in an explanation, but an action where you can cling to hope, even in the midst of things that you still struggle with. Whatever you don't know, don't understand, don't get to read about in the book, know this. Christ was crucified and he is risen to save you. Start there. And there, there's life everlasting. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.